I got started racing BMX when I was about 11, 12 years old. Kind of graduated from that into mountain biking when I was about 16. From there, just uh, kind of wrapped up a uh, basketball career in high school and then wanted to race professionally. Uh, so I was at a race uh, in Vail and uh, it was a made for TV event and had qualified the day before, um, number one qualifier, and uh, this was the final event of, I believe it was five events that year. So I was in the gate, and when you're in the gate and they say, camera's ready, TV ready, you need to be ready to go. Uh, and then they start the cadence. So I was in the gate and the semifinals, gates opened and I took off and you know was basically racing head to head with the other girl next to me. And um, there was a real technical part of the track that was about midway down. And as I was coming up to it, um, it was three big double jumps in a row um, that you had to jump. And I had done them in practice, no problem. Um, but uh, when I was coming up to them, I was having this kind of inner monologue in my head about whether I should jump it um, because something felt really off. And so, um, so as I'm having this inner monologue, you know, I just make sort of the last minute decision to jump the jumps and uh, didn't quite make it. And so I ended up um, just sort of pile driving my head into the face of the jump. Um, which broke my neck, and then um, my body really had nowhere to go, so it's just sort of scorpioned up over my head, and then that's what broke my low back. Finding sport again uh, really helped me be me again, you know, and helped me get back on track and, and um, be the person that I've always been, but that I just sort of lost that identity for a while. Yeah, I mean, wheelchair basketball, it's basketball, but it's still, it's still different than able-bodied. You know, not having, being able to jump and not having the lateral movement around it, you have to relearn how to um, be technically sound in the game and how to, um, you know, have the right chair position and, you know, learn how to now shoot the ball with no, you know, I don't have a lot of trunk, you know, control and core uh, strength and no legs to push off of, you know, off your foot plate. So, you know, my shot is different than when I played stand-up. So, you, you know, you have to just try to work around a few things to make it now work for you. 2017 was the first time that I tried out for the national team. You know, when I'm on court, I want to do everything that I can to help support my teammates and, you know, um, in, whatever, in whatever that is. I feel like it's, Something that that I can help bring to the team um, is just sort of that life experience, and you know, trying to remind these guys that not to get overly amped and not to get overly, you know, like so worried about the outcome. Things are going to happen, and they're going to play out the way that they play out. And as long as we just focus on the details and being a better team. Um, you know, in a cohesive unit, everything's going to go the way that we want it to go.